Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Pompton Plains, New Jersey. That is North Jersey for anyone who's not around here. I love what I'm seeing here. We got about nine tundras here. Definitely a nice variation of tundra. I did a nice video a couple minutes ago. I think it's around 8 a.m., maybe 7.50. It's a little bit later because it took me about two hours to get here. So I'm glad I drove up because we are seeing some beautiful tundras. Not as many as we've been seeing, but you know what? Quality over quantity, my friends. Welcome people signing on. It is good to know you. It is good to see you. Ben, you're my guy. What's up, buddy? You're number one. We got some really nice tundras here. There are nine total. There he is. There he is. You're a Toyota man. This is your lot, buddy. This is your lot. And I got to tell you, I just did the walk. I just did the video. Now we're doing the live. Of all the dealerships we go to every week, and this is a smaller one than what we're used to. This isn't a gigantic Toyota dealership. This one has the most complete Tundra lineup I've seen in a long time. And I'm going to show you why momentarily. Nine beauties over here. And we have one used one that's not marked for pricing yet, but 07 to 09 limited TRD off-road double cab. That's literally a dream truck, slate metallic. So if you guys are happy and loving any of these Tundras and want to put a call in, your Toyota man who's on this chat right now is a salesman at this dealership. He's the one who quarterbacked this whole thing. So I thank him very much. It was well worth the two-hour drive. And even driving on the parkway in the middle of the night, I still got into a serious traffic situation because there was an accident on the parkway. But we're here. Chris, how you doing? Jonathan, what's up? Kevin from Canada. I like it, buddy. Caesar, how you doing? Reg, good to see you. Let's take a walk through this. Watch the video later for a more complete, detailed walk on everything. It's about a 20-minute video we made. But I'm going to take you through these tundras because I'm excited to see the lineup that you're about to see. First off, I'm going to hit you right in the face with the main event right now. Will you look at this thing? Smoke Mesquite 2024 Limited with the TRD Off-Road Package, which means smoke mesquite with body color all the way around because the TRD Off-Road Package body color and blacks out for 2024. How freaking beautiful is that thing? That's meant to be. I'm obsessed with that truck. So you get the black badge up front. Body color surround. You get the TRD wheels, of course. You get the badging. Look, the window moldings black, limited black. Back here on the rear bumper, body color. John, how you doing? Other John, how you doing? There's a couple Johns. I like it. Brian, what's up? Ohio in the house. Of course, it's starting to rain, but we're going to power through. So that is a beautiful, beautiful truck. And I want to take this thing home right now. 64303 is the price. Nothing too crazy on it. Premium audio package, TRD off-road package. Monty, what's going on? But what I really want to show you, as it's starting to pour, I don't care. We're going to keep going. I'm going to try to put the phone under my hat, so if it gets super loud, I'm sorry. Next door to it is the 2023 TRD off-road. So you can see the difference right away. Instead of body color, like you see there, you get chrome. Tom said, would love to find a 2021 Lunar TRD Pro. Good luck, my friend. Because that is not an easy find right there. So two really nice limiteds. I would definitely take. So the difference in price, that's like a 63, high 63, 63.9 maybe. And that's a low 64. So for like the $400 difference, you're definitely going to go with the 2024 in this, I would think, right? But this he'll probably make a great deal on because it's a 2023 and they want to get rid of them. Okay, this one here. This is an SX. $300 add-on package to SR5. And I love the way they line the trucks up here because we're seeing the comparison between 2023 and 2024 on the Limited, but we're also seeing the comparison what a $300 package could do. It takes all the badges off except the 4x4 and the SX, blacked out wheels, body color on the mirrors, handles, all that. And then you come over to a regular SR5 and you see you got the silver wheels, the black on the mirror, on the mirror caps, on the handles. I love it. Brian says, love the Limited. Too much money though. I think they're all too much money, but for what you get in that limited, you know, and I'm going off of what the pricing is on all these Tundras, that's a good deal right there. And as I said in yesterday's video, we're starting to see a lot of limiteds that aren't fully loaded. Like that one there has all the things you need and some of the stuff you want doesn't have the panel roof, but that one right there is a, I'm, I'm actually going to talk to Toyota man later about that truck. See if we get a little trade going because 
that has my heart, dude. Mark says, amazing tundras from Victoria, British Columbia. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Canada, always in the house winning. Islanders shut out last night, and I mean they completed a shutout, so Islanders are having a okay start to the year. We move on down the road. Oh, real quick, so with the SR5, are you going to uh, spend that extra $300 to just black out a couple things? They look pretty much the same when you look at them head to head right here. It's down the side that you're going to see the difference with the wheels and everything is body color. And then you come over here and everything is more blacked out with the silver wheels. But I'm a fan. All right, we move on down the road. 1794 iForce Max TRD Off-Road. Love it. Alfred, what's going on, buddy? Union, Kentucky in the house. That is a nice one there. I believe it's 2023. Uh, check out the video for all the detailed stuff. But we're just doing a quick walkthrough. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with the beautiful 1794, especially put the iForce Max in it, TRD off-road package. That's probably a perfect truck right there. When you get up into 1794, things like JBL, Pano, you don't have to look to see if it's on it because it's standard. The bed lights, the outlet, standard. It's just fully loaded, 14-inch screen, guaranteed. Uh, 360 camera, standard. It's all standard. Premium auto leveling headlights. It's just they're loaded to the T. So if you want a Tundra that you don't want to do anything with, this is probably the perfect setup. You got the best selection of engine here with the iForce Max 1794. Premium, genuine leather. Heated, ventilated, and memory. I mean, it's the way to go. This one's saddle brown. Edward, what's up? Yeah, the iForce is 2023. That's what I thought. Or the iForce Max. Uh, Otto says, hey, Mark, more Canada for you. Yo, Canada's welcome. I'm going to start singing the national anthem in a minute. Guys, this is the one, though. This is the one, though. And on camera, I said this about 63 times in the video you're going to see tomorrow from this dealership. When I'm staring at it with the naked eye, it almost looks like a, like a copper. Through the phone, it looks way more red. You need this if you have the Cashola. This is the best TRD Pro special color that's been on the new gen yet. Huge fan. I like Solar Octane, but it was very bright. I liked Inferno, and I always think about it. This is more toward Inferno, but even a little darker than that. This is the way to go. You got to let me know what you think. But once again, to the naked eye, it's even darker. The phone brightens everything up. Look at this thing. This one I will walk real quick. iForce Max, Crew Max, five and a half foot bed. It's got the Pano. It's got the JBL sound system. It's got everything you need. You can't really do anything when it comes to TRD Pro. It kind of just comes one way. You can add some sidesteps if you want. That's pretty much it. Look at this thing. Oh, I'm in love with this. I got to be honest. Monty says, girl doesn't look so big with the body color surround. Exactly. Red says, that white SR5 headlights are darker, the one beside the 1794. I don't think so. Hold on. I'll show you the difference because one thing that a lot of people don't know. Uh, so when you get the iForce Max, it says iForce Max on the hood. It doesn't say it when it's the regular iForce, but TRD Pro is the only trim that it actually says TRD Pro on the hood, even though it has the iForce Max. So it's not a matter of darker. That is the regular LED headlight, and that is the premium one. See the difference? Look in the lens. So that's the difference there. But back to this beautiful thing. I think this one's 75 grand. Doesn't have a lot in it extra because there's just nothing to put extra in it. Look at that thing. 75323. 2024. Honestly, I have not seen. Now, if we go all pro since 2015, my favorite color will always be army green. I really liked Inferno. So this is as close to Inferno as I'm going to get. I'm into it. Those are my two favorites. Lunar's great, but this, I, this beats Lunar to me. This just has like a really unique look to it. I can't walk away from it. One thing I love about the special colors on TRD Pro is they're not metallic looking. Like they don't have like a shininess to it, like a sparkle. It has like a flat look to it. This in the sun must look great. Red says that white SR. Okay, we already talked about that. Gotcha. Thanks. No problem. Next door, we have a regular 1794. Can't go wrong. Regular iForce. Five and a half foot bed. I actually like the grill on this. I know we have fun debates. But I like the fact that in the new gen, Toyota's done a lot with the grills. Like if you go TRD off-road in the lower trims, you're going to get that black TRD grill down there. If you go TRD off-road in the higher trims, you're going to get that gray TRD off-road. I love the heritage. And 1794, Platinum, Capstone, they all have unique grills. Beautiful truck. <coughs> Excuse me. 
John says Army Green is fire. I agree. Monty says, remember when DC TRDs were 44K? Oh, 100%. I had a 2016 TRD Pro double cab, and that was 44.2, I think. Also, the diner next door is good if you are hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, the diner next door is extremely crowded, so it must be good. Thank you, sir. And then you think you're all done looking at all these great trims and comparisons. The, the lineup of this dealership, just like I said, they don't have as many as everybody else, but great lineup. You come down here and you see this absolutely beautiful Windchill Pearl Limited Nightshade Crew Max with a six and a half foot bed. You can swap girls out. Yes, sir. Will you look at this thing? I don't know how Nightshade will look, but listen. I said night. I don't know how windshield pearl would look, but we are in a dark, cloudy, rainy day, and it's just that little bit of off-white, man, and it does wonders. Four hundred and fifty dollar add-on package is the nightshade, blacked-out badging. Basically, takes all the chrome away, window molding and whatnot. It's got the black wheels, same wheel as the TRD Sport. The only difference is the center cap will have the Toyota logo instead of TRD. I did get your RCSV picks this morning. I love your truck. Absolutely love your truck. Monty here has a silver RCSB 5.7 TRD off-road. If you don't know what RCSB, regular cab, standard bed, it's rare, and it's in immaculate condition. Bob, how you doing, buddy? And then I didn't even notice this until the very end of my walk video. It's like Toyota Man wants me to buy from him because he keeps putting on these trims set up the way that I like them. 1794, regular iForce, Crew Max with the five and a half foot bed, Blueprint with Saddle Brown. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Blueprint is the way to go if you're going to go regular 1794 without TRD. Love it. I can't share on the live. I could share on the live when we're sitting in my office doing the lives, and I definitely will, uh, but here it's, it's impossible to do. I need uh, two forms, as in a phone and my iPad, to make that happen. Jonathan says, Nightshade is perfect. If you don't go with the off-road package, I agree. And that's the same thing with SX. Because SX is only $300 add-on to SR5. Does nothing but a little, you know, cosmetic kind of thing. Same thing with Nightshade. That truck looks amazing. And I hate that you guys can't see what I'm seeing with the naked eye. Because the coloring is just slightly different. The camera brightens everything up. Yeah, remind me, Monty. I'll definitely show them because I, I want them to see what I saw. All right, so those are the new Tundras. First off, good morning, everyone. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And check out tomorrow's video where we go through all these trucks. Seriously. Now, I want to go show you that gem down there. But we're going to walk through these one more time. I need to know. You know the question of every live stream. Which one you taking home? 1794 Blueprint with the saddle brown interior. Just came off the truck. Still has wrapping on it. Nightshade Limited Crew Max with the six and a half foot bed. I feel like a lot of you are going to say this one. Windshield Pearl is 100% sexy, says Bob. They look like low riders compared to second gen, says Monty. guess it depends on the packaging. 1794 Regular iForce Midnight Black Metallic. You're not allowed to say this one. You're not allowed to say you're going to take this one home because I feel like everybody's going to say this one. Uh, and besides, I'm taking this one home. Terra TRD Pro. Finally seeing it. This is my first time. Super says, give me the new 1794 Special Edition. I feel like everyone feels like that. Only 1500 being made of that. 2023 iForce Max 1794 TRD Off-Road. We have regular SR5 Crew Max Tundra, five and a half foot bed. And then the SX package Crew Max with the five and a half foot bed. And then we have... Two options of Limited with the TRD Off-Road Package. A 2023 that still has the chrome and the machine silver all over it. And then in 2024, they changed your TRD Off-Road on the Limited to be body color and blacked out, ladies and gentlemen. This one is the one I'm taking home. Smoke Mesquite. Ben says, is there a noticeable difference with MPG with removal of the active front spoiler on TRD Off-Road? I do a lot of highway driving. I haven't driven one with the active front spoiler, but mine gets in the low 20s when I'm on the highway. And I do a lot of highway driving. The lower nose valence should come standard color match. I agree. I don't think this looks bad. I feel like in certain pack, a lot of people have a problem with the front end. A lot of people don't like that where it says Tundra. It's not body color like on the Sequoia. But I think if you get the right setup, kind of like the one we're looking at right now, it looks good. It just depends on what the setup is. 
Uh, Toyota Man says, I honestly hope we get the 1794 Limited as they're only making 1500. Well, I'm thinking this. If they're making 1500, how many dealerships are in America? Because maybe every dealership will get one. Now, folks, of all those trucks we just saw, I'm about to blow your mind with this gem. Very rare. Slate Metallic Limited Double Cab TRD Off-Road 4x4. All right. Now, why is this rare? You're going to learn some Tundra stuff today. Some weird Tundra stuff. The reason I know it's 07 to 09 is because of the taillights. In 2010, they changed those. Another reason I know it's an 07 to 09 is that iForce V8 badge. This is a 4.7 liter V8, the secondary engine to the 5.7. In 2010, they went to the 4.6, got rid of the 4.7 and went to the 4.6 as the secondary engine. But one thing they didn't do was give the 4.6 its own badge. <coughs> the 5.7 gets the iForce 5.7 V8 badge, and the 4.7 got this. And when they went 4.6, it would just have no badge. The best TRD wheel there is, I don't care what anybody says. The best color ever offered slate metallic, which is now your mad gray. But this just had a little bit different of a look to it in certain lights. This thing has seen a good service life, you can tell. It has definitely been used as a truck, but it's still kicking. Oh, below the fog lights, I agree. Yes. John says, what is my office live schedule? I'm not sure yet this week, probably Friday again. John says, SR5 or limited with TRD off-road and six and a half foot bed is what I'm after. I'd go limited. But this thing is absolutely a gem. Absolutely beautiful. Six CD changer in it. I still like my CDs. I don't know about you guys, but the only chrome it did up front when you went limited is that grill part. Down low, body color. If you're SR5, that bottom part is chrome. I do wonder what the miles are. In fact, Toyota Man, hook me up with uh, some information on this. I'd love to see what's up with this truck. This looked like it had a plow on it at some point. That's just, of all of the trucks we're seeing, this was my dream truck. Exactly this setup, exactly this color, trim, package, everything. So to be able to come here and see this thing blew my mind. So we've seen a great set of Tundras. Once again, Crestmont Toyota, Pompton Plains, New Jersey. So we're in North Jersey today. It was worth the drive because I'm telling you, we see a lot of great Tundras, a lot of lifted ones lately, but... This alone, this Tundra right here alone, was worth that two-hour drive. Look at this thing. I need this in my life. Let's start a donation. Everybody throw into the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel donation bin so I can buy this thing. I'm leaving it up to you guys. Super says, by the way, all Tundras you see in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, UAE are privately imported from North America. Toyota didn't bring them here, unfortunately. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Mark. Great video. Yes, everyone. Thank you for being here. Hit the like button on your way out. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell and get ready for the dealership walk video tomorrow. If you want to catch up on all the dealership walk videos, check the playlist out because I got them all in there. Let's end this day right. Let's give, as we're just walking around, slowly past the lineup, a cheers to all the military and emergency services of the United States and Canada. Be safe. Thank you for protecting us and allowing us to travel two hours north to see beautiful tundras like Smoke Mesquite TRD limited and this beautiful Terra. Everybody have a great day. Be safe and be well. Thank you so much for tuning in.